Hello, everybody. It's me, and it's Miss Annie. Hey, everybody. How are you guys? We just finished watching The Voice. We did. We decided to watch it tonight and then come on. We've been uh, kind of bit, well, I really haven't been that busy, but let me just show you how busy this sweet lady of ours has been. You think she's done some pumpkin bread today? And she's not done. I made a few pumpkin bread. Yeah. Today. Yes. You think maybe she's done a loaf or two? Yeah. Hello, Beth. How are you? And Colette, good evening. Hey, Hi. everybody. How are you? Hi, Joyce from Versailles, Versailles, Indiana. That's what it is, Versailles. Yep. Hello, Janice. How are you? Here, how are you? Michael McDaniel, how you doing, buddy? It's good to see you. I'm going to go ahead and turn this around so I won't uh, just sit there and look at the pumpkin bread. Oh. Hey friends, how are you guys? It's been a minute. Been yeah, since. it has has been a few days since we've come on live and we just wanted to come on and chat with you tonight. Catch up on some things. You guys doing okay? Kimberly said I made her pumpkin bread this weekend. We love it. I'm so Good. glad. So glad. This is really my last week of making pumpkin bread. Oh. I've been making it since the end of mid-September. So, yes. Hello, hello, Joy. Yes, Annie has been busy, hasn't she? It's amazing. The backdrop of pumpkin bread. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so. so I had a school reach out to me, and they are wanting to give a little gift to their teachers before, before Thanksgiving break. And they asked me if I would make 140 loaves of pumpkin bread. So... I'm she's I'm working on it. <laughs> she's almost there. Not quite, but she's almost there. She should be able to get it tomorrow, right? Yep. That's the I'm goal. I'm going to finish up tomorrow. Yeah. I'm finish up tomorrow and they and then I'm going to deliver them. So anyway. Anyway, I'm super excited. It's been quite the quite the um fall. Few days. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so let's yeah. talk about the Y'all Brands and Sweet Mama Sue on Shark Tank. What a neat evening for us to go and be able to experience experience that with them. It was, was it was so fun. So fun. How many of you guys were watching Shark Tank on Friday night? Or if you didn't watch it Friday, how many of you guys um, have gone back to watch a replay? Pretty amazing. It was. It was a neat experience to be able to see that. Mm -hmm. To be able to sit at the same table as Mama Sue, we felt so important <laughs> with that movie star yeah. sitting at our table. Well, let us tell you a little bit about it. So we've known Darian and Brandon with Y'all Brands since like 2020, 2021. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have just been watching them just grow. And we've been one of their influencers along with Mama Sue. You guys have seen, they... They really worked with influencers to grow their brand. But one of the things that I've loved so much about working with them is they've just been so incredibly supportive. And they're brave. And they're just a whole lot of fun. So, and we've all been keeping a secret. Yeah, because for, for several months. We knew that they were on Shark Tank since, gosh, they started applying, I think, in July. So we knew that they had been accepted and anyway, so we knew all of this and then we knew Mama Sue was on. And so anyway, we've all been sh keeping a secret and it was hard. Yeah, it was. It was hard to keep a secret. But wasn't Mama Sue amazing, you guys, she, on Shark Tank? She, she, she was She did so such awesome. a good job. That was, she's like a natural at it. I, I, we, were, yeah. we were so proud her and all that fun stuff. So. That was so much fun. She, 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 and I texted her, I think on Friday as we were kind of, Friday before we were going up to watch that with the um, Darren and Brandon and they had about a hundred of their closest friends. 
And um, anyway, I texted her and I was like, when you made your first video, did you have, I mean, could you even have imagined that you would be on Shark Tank? And she texted me back and she said, never in a million years. So anyway, super proud of them. So happy for Mama Sue. So proud of Darian and Brandon. They have really, really, really worked hard and been so willing to just share lots of things with all of us. Yeah. So yeah. they're incredible. They We've actually them. had them in our home and did some yeah. filming with them in, yeah. our, in our house. So they that came was, to our house. Yeah. That was neat. And so. since we've been in this house, I actually, I don't know if I've told you, but, you know, because um, we have these great porches, I'm like, listen, you should come and do a video right on, at this oh, old house yeah. with your little sweet tea on our porches. So yeah. anyway, we'll see what happens, but they're awesome. Um, Rick and Kathy say it said, hello, Miss Annie and Mr. Daryl. Hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. I love Shark Tank and proud of those two young men. They couldn't have gotten any better sharks, right? Than who yeah. they chose. Yeah. yeah. Those sharks were awesome. And then what you guys didn't see, but I know Darian and Brandon have been posting about it is after the show was over, then we, then we, all the guests and Darren and Brandon, we FaceTimed with the, the those sharks. sharks. Yeah. So and had a live call with them. It was that was really neat. Yeah. Neat experience. It was so so neat. Yeah. So anyway, that was really awesome. And actually, then that over the weekend on Friday night, my cousin Jason came with his son, and they yeah, actually. Yeah. While we were up in up in Hayden, they arrived here. So. Yeah. And they just left this morning, so we had company all weekend, and that was really fun. I say company, but Jason is like, he just comes and does his he, thing. He does his thing, yeah. So. And they stayed up in the apartment, and um, he stays in a lot of Airbnbs, so he made some good suggestions, like how we could make it even more comfortable. He likes it. He, he, does, he works from home, and so he said a desk would be good up there. So we are gonna do that. So Rhonda, we're gonna show you a few things. Yeah. Uh, Rhonda asked about the fireplace. Okay. Um, there was not um, anything done on the fireplace, but you can tell Clint has been here today. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna show you some pretty neat things that he brought along with him, so. Yeah, all right. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So I'm gonna turn the, the camera around We'll start outside and then we'll come inside. Okay. Bunch of white right there, isn't it? Here we go. Look what is on our porch. This is some of the wood that's going to be used for, well, you know what each piece is, don't you, Annie? I do. I was gonna Okay. So these are just natural, these are just beams that um, Clint he, found somebody on Facebook. You want to come down this way? Okay. Maybe they can kind of see better. Yeah. So these, this is going to be the mantle, but it will be cut much smaller. But, um, so it's this rough cut wood. And then these are going to be the ones that go up this way. And it will hold this. And then you'll probably have to come on this side. And then this, yeah. And then these are like this, Look at that. this wide. And these are gonna be the new shelves. Those will be the shelves, okay. Right, these are going to be the, the shelves. So, yeah. So, and love some of this. Just This is going to be so pretty when it's stained, all of this kind of movement, or whatever you call that in the wood. All the grain, yeah, the all wood the grain. grain and the, yeah, and... yeah. 
And then it's kind of rough cut over here, you know, where the saw was. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Some beautiful wood that uh, Clint has found for us. We're excited about that. Mm -hmm. So we were asked, and I apologize, I didn't catch your name. How did, how did the relationship with um, Sweet Tea start? Did that come through because of Angela? Or was it, did they reach out to Mama Sue? How did that work? Yeah, I mean, I think at the very beginning, they, um, I don't know if they can hear me. So at the very beginning, if you guys remember, like during COVID, everybody was kind of, that's when cooking shows started taking off because everybody was at home, right? And that's kind of around the time when Darian and Brandon started Y'all Sweet Tea. And Darian had worked with, well, he was a fisherman, right? And he knew all that's about right. social media. Yeah, he was. He's a really good fisherman. Yeah. And so, and he managed a lot of social media pages for people. And he knew that influencers were important to kind of get your product out. So he kind of saw like people who were growing and pages that were growing. And so he reached out to several influencers, Mama Sue, Brenda Gant, us, several different people. And then as they released new products, then we shared it with all of you guys. So so that's how it was. They reached out to Mama yes. Sue and to yeah. us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know if you saw this the other day. We had, uh, so Clint had brought this in. Did, did you show this? I don't think we did. I don't I think we haven't been, no. This has been here since we, yeah. I think he brought this in on Friday. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I think so. So this will be the cabinet that goes into that spot right there. And um, then Annie had shown you the, the wood that's going to be the uh, shelves. Mm -hmm. And then this is another piece of wood that's going to be used as a side column. Is that right? Yeah, so the, this is gonna go yeah, here and then there'll be one here. And then that mantle will fit on top of here. And um, and we were testing out stain. Oh, yeah. This is the like a gray stain. And so, yeah. And then the fireplace. So all of it will kind of be built out. And then there'll be shiplap up this way. Okay. And I know he, I know Clint texted earlier and you guys have been communicating. What was it that we were going to do down here? Was a decision made down here? No, I mean, there's, this is like up in the air, what kind of hearth this is going to be. We can do a stone hearth. Um, we can do a stone hearth. We can do a wood hearth. We can do... He even talked about creating like a hearth with concrete. Oh, All okay. kinds of really cool stuff. So we'll see what, what this ends up being. But anyway. So either wood, stone, or concrete are the are the choices down here. Yeah. So but we're excited. The wood's here and we got it all. I don't know if you saw the uh, fast forward from this morning. We moved everything out at like five o'clock this morning. <laughs> We did. Yeah, I was asking Clint too. I was like, okay, is this is this good? This all of this? And he said it was. He said he felt like he would have enough room to do and what needed to be done. I uh I uh saw some comments about needing to cover this. Is I, I don't think this is gonna be a dusty situation. He's gonna cut everything outside, is that right? Yeah, he will be cutting, he said most all of it outside, but oh, okay. I agree with you guys, because I thought we probably need to cover it. it I mean, it's gonna get dusty in here because he'll be cutting into like stuff. But yeah. anyway. Yeah. Okay, well, cool. So, yeah. So that's, those are the exciting things that are happening um, right now. Did he give you a time frame as far as when that would be uh, finished? Um, no? Probably by Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. Yeah, probably by Thanksgiving. Oh. 
So anyway, what do you guys think about that amazing wood? Pretty amazing, right? Stone may be nice for the hearth since you have so much wood. Absolutely agree. Susan said it's going to be beautiful. Tammy said I can't hear you. Was that when she was on the other side? Probably can't hear Probably. me when I'm on the other yeah. side. Yeah. Um, Linda said to cover it. Yes. Listen, we have been, we have, we don't. Do we, we have, have any plastic? We will. Okay. We'll get it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I do have a little bit in the car. I do. In a big roll. Um, Sheila said a clear coat on the wood and no stain would look beautiful. Yes. It would be beautiful. We talked about that too. Like just, yeah, me and Clint. Um, Jetta said, I seen you were working like a busy bee. Yes. yes, we were. We were trying to get that taken care of this morning for sure. Um, Pamela said, it will be beautiful. Um, Malitha says, hi, just caught you. So glad that you're here. Um, Linda said, can you make your pumpkin bread with a hand mixer? Absolutely. That was all I used to have was a hand mixer for the longest time. So yes, you can. Um, Martha said, love the wood. It will um, look beautiful from Indiana. Thank you. Thank you. The wood is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Terry from Gardendale. You're not too far from us. Just right up the road. Yes. Yes. Mary Bell. What a pretty name. That's cool. Amazing. Love it. Patsy said, love catching y'all live. I was so afraid you were not coming on and I would have been so sad. It is all beautiful. We were watching The Voice, you guys. Yeah, we, we were. are loving The Voice. Do you guys love Snoop Dogg? He's so yeah, fun. Somebody asked about the TV. Mm -hmm. it, it's actually in our room. We, we moved it from that little slot, that little cove, that little cubby. Right. Can't think of a good word for it, but we moved it into the, moved the dresser and the TV into our room temporarily. Mm -hmm. We've never had a TV in our room. Yeah, we never have. We, we never have, and so I was laying down watching the voice, and I was like, I could get used to this. <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah. We might have something new going on. Anyway, okay. Um, Diane said, how many lobes do you have made? Okay, that's a really good question. Okay, I'm going to count them. Um, let's see. They're in... You want to, let's see, so there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 99. 99. 99 loaves. That's funny that it's such, that it's an odd number like that. So I made 99. I need 140, but I also have to have pumpkin bread for tomorrow. I was going to say, some of these will go to teachers and admins tomorrow. So Yeah. So, um, Dolores said, yes, I remember the Y'all Sweet Tea Boys were at Brenda Gant with boxes to give away of the tea. Yes, for sure. Okay, you guys, so we have to talk about, we are about to hit 200,000 followers. Yes, we are. We can't believe it, can we? We can't. We're just completely blown away so when we came on we were how many away a hundred um no not a hundred and something it was it we were uh 120 i think oh 100 was it 120 or 180 180 180 180 away from two hundred thousand, which is crazy crazy and obviously wouldn't be here without you guys so we appreciate that so much when we hit two hundred thousand which will probably be tomorrow, we have a giveaway and it is going to be like a lot of really fun stuff. So mm -hmm. it's going to be like a sh like our shirt, um, I think a necklace, it's going to be the cookbooks, it's going to be um, some of my favorite things, which um, we have those fun spatulas that we love. Mm -hmm. I love a good Yankee candle. It's going to be... I think we're going to put a necklace in there as well. I think I, I, think yeah. I said that. Didn't I say that, y'all? I think I did say that, but mm -hmm. yes. 
and anyway we're just gonna fill up a big old box full of really it's gonna be worth like hundred and fifty dollars so anyway so watch for that and we'll let you guys know about that giveaway so anyway we're almost at two hundred thousand which is crazy yeah crazy <laughs> amazing it's amazing we're blown away and we just can't say thank you enough yeah you, know, you guys yeah. are wonderful Althea said that's awesome and Althea you have been watching us forever so many of your names i've seen yeah. forever and ever and you guys have been amazing uh, wilma said we wouldn't be on here without you guys yeah <laughs> that's true that is so true debbie that's said funny. look forward to watching you every night well you uh, are so sweet so sweet so debbie said yeah you had said necklace and i repeated it i apologize that's okay yeah. i think what happens is you start watching yeah like, and i don't I, even though she's right here i don't hear her because i'm reading as best i can yeah it's all right it's yeah. all right um lynn said you will hit that soon yes i i mean i really do think it'll probably be tomorrow yeah so if you guys you guys can help us just share um, any of our things and invite people to watch us, that would be great. Marilyn said, oh wow, 200,000 followers. Um, so amazing, congratulations, thank you. Thank Becky you very much. said, I've been at a ball game and was so afraid that I would miss your live. Becky, what ball game were you at? Tell us all the things. Little League, pro or not Little League, whatever they call that, Pee Wee Ball maybe? Yeah. Star, Star, you've been watching forever too. So many, I'm not even going to start naming names because so many of you guys have been just watching us forever. So we really, really, really appreciate it. We really do. Patricia said, thank you for sharing your beautiful home with us. Well, thank you guys for watching. Yes, thank you for being there. Yeah, thanks for being willing to just give us all the ideas and suggestions. You guys have really made some really good ones yes. throughout this process for sure. Um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to um, mention. Barbara Smith said, watched forever, would love to receive the gifts. Y'all make my night. Oh, Wonderful. you are so sweet. So sweet. Patty said, love you too. Thank you. Kathleen said, Jenny Pines, that's her pumpkin bread. Are you talking about what's behind me? Lots of pumpkin bread. Um, Sherry said, when I saw the voice coming on, I thought of you and Daryl. Oh, fun. We love it. And if you watched it tonight, that Jennifer Hudson, she's awesome. She is. She's amazing. Um, Rebecca said, you all have grown with these nightly chats and all the hard things you are doing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um... Pam said, look forward to seeing you every day. Well, y'all are really sweet. It's been a minute. I mean, it was since Friday that Friday, we came on. Yeah, we, we were just busy with Jason and family and mm -hmm. doing things. We apologize we didn't come on over the weekend, but hey, we're here now. Yeah, well, and some of our followers, well, not our followers, but like sweet family, they get a little shy. And so I don't try oh. to push Jason made Because you were, yeah, that's right. Jason made a great, what was it, chicken and dumplings? It was a great... And I asked him for the recipe. Yeah. I haven't gotten it yet, but I'm, I'm going to cook that. Wow, yeah. it was delicious. He made this great kind of, it was really kind of more of a soup. And yeah. then he added like some dumplings on the top. So it wasn't, it was the best broth. Right. It tasted mm. so good. And so as he was making it, I'm like... Jason, I really want to like, can I, can I video you making this? And he was like, well, I mean, he had all, the, anyway, he's, I love him. And then I think the next day he was like, I really should have done that for you. And I'm like, it's okay. It's hard to be on camera. I understand. But I think the next time he comes, he might be brave. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. he made some really, so over the weekend, we just try to respect our our guests or our visitors desires and if they don't want to be on the camera then we don't put them we on. don't yeah we so, don't push them to that point yeah cindy said congrats on the upcoming two hundred thousand followers i watch the two of you every day and i vote for a brick hard oh love you guys okay i love that thank you 
Um, Jana said, I first met you through Facebook when you were helping Mama Sue out and she was going through her cancel, cancer battle. Yes, oh my goodness, you've been here a long time, been following you ever since, right? We were talking about Mama Sue today, just, I mean, we wouldn't be here without her, that's for sure. And in fact, it was her encouragement mm -hmm. to Miss Annie that, that she decided to go ahead and start a channel. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, because yeah. when COVID was happening, I couldn't go into the schools. And so, um, and you guys see how busy I am every night doing, and that's the way it's been for years and years and years. So, when COVID happened and I couldn't go into the schools, and I think people didn't really know. I mean, we didn't know if it was ever going to start back. And yeah. so started Miss Annie's Home and Kitchen. And we just couldn't, um, we just couldn't do it without Mama Sue's encouragement and Angela Deaver, who you guys know, we talk about her all the time. She manages all the things with She's us. She's the brain trust Sue. behind it, this uh, adventure. She's, she is amazing. Yeah, she's awesome. Um, Sue said, I watch you when you're walking. Oh, talk about you. What are you doing? You guys need to hear what's been happening with Daryl in the last two weeks, mm, three two, weeks, two, going yeah. on three weeks. Yeah. I'm, uh, I, I've currently lost 10 pounds and I'm, I'm really committed to um, walking, making sure, I, you know, the, the reading that I've done is, is walking is like the best exercise. So I, uh, I try to get it in, um, at work and sometimes I can't today. I couldn't, I didn't have time at work to walk. Uh, so I came home, took a little rest, fell asleep for about 30 minutes and then got up and did a, what do you think about three miles that I walked? Mm -hmm. I think yeah. you walked three miles tonight. completely around Columbiana and, and, um, uh, anyway, with, with the loss of that 10 pounds, I'm, I'm, I'm encouraged. I'm ready to lose more and, um, hopefully I can. That's, that's the goal. I just keep pushing myself until I, I, it's time to go to bed. Well, and also I think another part of it is, is so Daryl, his sugar numbers were a little high and he was concerned yeah. about that. Yeah. So he's been doing some intermittent fasting and I had a, a doctor's a follow up doctor's appointment. Uh, she had prescribed a once a week shot and I can't remember the, uh, the product, but I, I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. And that's when it started. I, I, I cut sugar completely out. I, I don't eat sugar which before then I was having a problem because my A1C had popped up above eight and, and I wasn't feeling well. I could tell that something was completely off. And um, so I started uh, two, two, two and a half weeks of, of good solid work and dedication and commitment. And um, then I had a, a follow-up appointment with uh, my doctor and she's first thing she said is I see you haven't filled this prescription. What's going on? And I was like, well, take a look. I, you know, I've, I've lost over 10 pounds. I don't eat sugar anymore. Can I go ahead and do an A1C test today? And she said, no, you can't. It takes 90 days between each test. And it had only been three weeks maybe from my previous. So I'm excited about end of January will be, will be the uh, three month period. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm excited to see where I'm at in, in the end of January. So I keep, I keep this commitment up. Yeah. So you're doing intermittent fasting. Yes. So you, um, so you kind of fast a little bit in the morning, you don't do breakfast and you're drinking this, stuff called Unamate, and we're trying it out. We'll tell you how it works. We'll let yeah. you guys know. We thought we'd try it out for about a month before we actually share with you what's going on with it. But right. 
that helps, right? Like it does. Your it fasting it sustains time. you through the through the fast up until lunch. I'm mm -hmm. I'm uh, I you know yeah I do have a little hunger, but I, it's not like that crazy hungry like you know you're ready to chew on your arm kind of <laughs> hungry, which I've had that before and it's it's horrible, but it, it pushes you through. You you're able to to make it to lunchtime and and uh, there we go. So yeah, carbs too. So, yeah. He's handling the carbs too. Vicky said, "Look out, Miss Annie Daryl, trying to look good for them college girls." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and holy cow! Uh, I, I wonder what what is the ratio down there at Alabama? Is it like two to one female to male? Do you see a lot of girls? I do. I, I'm like, where are the guys at? Holy huh. cow! That's interesting. Yeah. They do say that there are a lot of lot more women that are going to college now mm. than there are men. I don't know if that's true or not. But um, let's see. Somebody said, my numbers were up too, Daryl. I started walking too. Hey, Annie, how much weight do you put in your backpack when you walk? So I have 20 pounds in my backpack. And it is heavy. <laughs> for me, for a woman, it's kind of heavy. So going, you know, when I go like up hills and stuff like that, but I love it. So it's 20 pounds, but you know, you don't have to start with 20 pounds, but some of you guys have asked about that and, um, it strengthens your core and your legs and it increases your cardio too. Joyce said, I do this system too. It's working on my sugars. Awesome. That's great. That is. That, that I love is it. Really good. That's so good. And I've been doing a lot of research on treats that are vegetable based, maybe some cheese or, or some other products um, that are not sweet, but but are are uh, I don't know treats of, of, of various types. Well, so. and somebody just mentioned too, and they said that they were um, type one. Oh, that it's wow. the carbs that you need to pay attention to okay. more than just sugar. Wow. So, oh, question you once a year. Um, 12 in 2020. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Um, and in February it was 5.7. I do intermittent fasting 16 to 18 hours every day. For the last three days, I've done a 24 hour fast. I've lost 109 wow, pounds. Wow. Wait, Vicky, that's amazing. That you can is. do hard things. Proud of you. That That's, is amazing. That is wonderful. Um, all right. Let's see. Um, let's just talk about Thanksgiving for just a minute. So we are, our daughter Shannon and her family are coming for Thanksgiving. And then, of course, Ashley and her family. So we will get together during Thanksgiving, and we might not actually have Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving. Mm. Um, I've got to reach out to Shannon. She might come. We might do it a day or two early because um, Ashley and Dave might be going somewhere um, on maybe Friday or something. So Sharon said, I am diabetic and my A1C was high. I started drinking lots of water intermittent fasting, lost 86 pounds, and my A1C is down to 5.3. Gracious. <gasps> you Good got job. this, D, and you Maybe. have been drinking a lot of water, too. Yeah, right? I have. I, I have, which is good. Mm -hmm. You know, that's fasting and drinking water and, and um, you know, not eating any sugar. Mm -hmm. And the carbs, I think in the last three weeks, I've had two sandwiches. <laughs> you know, which, yeah. which uh, you know, the bread, I've cut bread out almost completely. Not quite, but almost. Yeah, so. yeah. You're doing great. And, and I think that the walking is really, really important. So somebody did ask about if he's tracking his sugar. So we bought... Um, Dexcon, uh, the Stello, which is over-the-counter. Uh, yeah, you don't have meter. to have a prescription for yeah. it. And it's a contiguous, a CGM. So anyway, we've got to, it had a little malfunction in it. It, it did. So we've got to start that again, but you liked it. I did. Because well, he was able to track his sugar. We need to get the exterior thing to, to hold it on. So I, I'll put another patch on 
because um, I I messed up with the first one. I had to use both of them for one. And anyway, we need to order some more. Yes, and you were able to like he was able to watch what his sugar was constantly on his phone. So that was really neat. Wasn't yeah, it? it's a cool system. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, very cool. So listen, we don't want to keep you guys on for too long. We just wanted to say hello. And it's we wanted to share with you about y'all sweet tea and how neat that was. Um, yeah, we just wanted to show you all the things, the wood, um, and the 200,000, which is so <laughs> crazy. We love you guys. Um, it's just amazing. So... Anyway, we love you, love you, love you, and we just want to say thank you so much for watching us, and we will check back with you guys tomorrow. Be watching. We're going to be watching to see if we hit the 200,000, mm -hmm. and then we'll have such a fun giveaway. So anyway, we love you. Oh, Mary Jo Poole said, did you want to mention the Christmas tour? Yes, Mary Jo Poole, we sure did. So the Christmas tour of homes... We did post on our page today the, the ticket information. So the Christmas tour is the beautification board, the Columbiana beautification board, it's their big fundraiser. So anyway, they do this every year and so that's where the money for the tickets go to. And there will be four or five houses on the tour so it won't just be ours. So if you come to Columbiana, you'll be able to go through four or five homes and the tour starts, it's like from one to five on Saturday, but there will be just like arts things going on down at the Shelby County Arts Council downtown. And we are like within just walking distance of downtown. It is so easy. Like, yeah, we're like a block away. You could park across the street at the Baptist Church and come to our house, but then, um, and you can kind of go wherever you want to go. You don't have to go in a certain order, but then you can spend your morning downtown um, just looking at all the shops, farm company, Davis Drug, Leaders. There's a great uh, bakery down there. Um, so there's that. And then Friday night, though, the night before is the Christmas parade that Daryl and I are going to participate in. So that'll be fun. Um, so now, anyway. Now, we did participate in a parade when we were, when we had the Marcos up in Trussville. We would always be in that parade. Yeah. But, but we had Chef Marco and we, we yeah. you know, it was the pizza place. This is our First time to be in the Columbiana Parade yeah. as just Darryl Annie and Daryl. Yeah. Or Annie and Daryl. Yeah. yeah. So it'll be fun. So anyway, we put that link today um, on the page. So if you are interested, then just just go there and you can get your ticket. I'm, I'm probably the day of you can also get a ticket. But anyway, so there's that. Um all right, you guys, we're going to let you go. We love you. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. And we're just going to remind you to be stronger every day. Know that you can do hard things. And we will see you guys next time. Good Bye, night. everyone. Good night.